Hello everyone. Today, we are with another interesting video if you are a person really worrying about your online security. In this video, I'm going to show you some tricks in Windows to ensure that your device is safe from unauthorized access. So before jump in, subscribe us and hit the bell icon to stay with interesting stuffs like this. When it comes to the unauthorized access, the first and main thing that comes to the mind is remote access. As we are talking about Windows, in Windows we have service called Remote Desktop, and using that we can enable or disable remote access to our devices. To check the settings, you can press Windows key plus R, type sysdm.cpl and press Enter to open the System Properties window. There you have this menu called Remote. In the Remote Desktop section, you have two options to enable or disable this service. If you don't want anyone to connect to your Windows using Remote Desktop, you can select Don't Allow. But when we do things remotely, or in most internets, this feature is enabled for ease the administration remotely. You can allow this service to specific user accounts by clicking the Select Users button and adding users using the Add button. By default, your admin account gets access to this, so you don't need to add that separately. If you have a Windows machine with this enabled, how you can check who got connected? Well, let's see. There are a few options you got to check this. First and easiest way is to check logged users using the Task Manager. To do that, go to Task Manager. You can simply right-click on the taskbar and click on Task Manager. Here you can see the Users menu. Click on that and done. Here you can see all the users currently logged in to your system. Next, you can use the command prompt to check any active sessions to your machine. So press Windows key plus R, type CMD, and press Enter to open a command prompt. There you can type this command to get a list of active sessions on the computer, including the username and session ID. We got another command called query space user. Using this command, you can get a list of all users currently logged onto the system, along with their session IDs. Those are a few basic ways to check details about currently logged users. Now, how we can check previously logged users and their details. So this is the most interesting way if you're looking for some evidence. As we know, every operating system maintains event logs for security and troubleshooting purposes. In Windows, we got a tool called Event Viewer for this. To open that, we can press Windows key plus S and type Event Viewer, and the Windows shows the application. Or, you can press Windows key plus R, type Event VWR, and press Enter to open the Event Viewer. In left panel, expand Windows Logs and double-click on Security. Here, you can see the Security Events log, which includes the Logon events. Using those events, you can check more details about logon attempts. To filter out the specific logon records, we can use the Filter option from the right panel. In the Filter window, here you can set the time interval. I will keep it as any time. Here you can type any event ID to filter specific records. Let's use the event ID as 4624, which is for logon records. Now click on the OK button and you can see all the logon attempts to your machine. By double clicking on each record, you can see additional information regarding the event. Now how we can filter remote logon events from this list? For that we can modify our filter again. Open the filter again and go to the XML menu. From here, you can write a simple XML query to modify the filtering process in an advanced way. So let's do it. First, tick the Edit Query Manually checkbox at the bottom of the filter window. Now modify the existing query as this. Here we are using the logon type value 
in our filter query. So, logon type 3 is for network logons. That's all. Click the OK button and you get the list of remote logon events. By opening the event, you can see important details such as the network information of the remote device. The final trick to check any unauthorized access to your Windows device is to check user profiles in the system. To check the settings again, go to the System Properties window and go to the Advanced menu. There you have this User Profiles section. Click on the Settings button in User Profiles. There you can see profiles stored on your computer. If you see any suspicious account here, you can remove it with immediate effect. That wraps up our quick guide on how to track any remote connections to our devices. If you find these tips helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more security-related content.